Hello guys, and welcome back to another CAFCAST! Today we are starting a brand new Let's Play. We are playing Prison Architect. Now, for those of you who joined me before I joined the Yogscast, we did actually play this game a little bit. We did the uh, various tutorial missions to kind of learn how to roughly play the game and I feel like we did some really good work I feel like we managed to figure out kind of the basics of how to play I'm sure there's some things that I won't know like I can't remember for the life of me how to plan like where guards live and stuff like that but I'm I'm pretty sure that we can find that kind of stuff out as we go so I'm not too concerned um, but we never got a chance to actually make a full proper prison so I thought what I do today is sit down for a good couple of hours and just play the game. Just try it out and see how we do. For those of you guys who watch me on my live streams, you know that I love playing RimWorld. Um, and I have done for a long time. It's a fantastic game. And everyone uh, who watches me play RimWorld and knows that I haven't played Prison Architect says, Gaff, what are you doing? Play Prison Architect. It's so good. Um, and I hope that it is. I hope that it is. Anyway, we're going to go with a large prison on the Warden uh, option. And we're going to actually have a couple of things to just sort of mix things up a little bit. Um, Fog of War is good, obviously, because guards control the area. That helps me to see where I need to have guards controlling the areas and stuff. Forest is fine. Lakes is experimental, so we're going to leave that one off. But we're going to go with um, random derelict buildings. We're going to go with failure conditions. We're going to go with gangs and events and weather and temperature and staff needs. So basically just make the game as interesting and varied as possible, essentially. Um, I think it will make for a really interesting game. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? I'm going to pause the game straight away. And actually, there's already like a, a little bit of a sort of a prison-esque area over here. I wonder if it's worth kind of recycling that. Or maybe we'll do it later on I don't know as you can see the the garbage and the, the garbage and the deliveries are just over here and the prisoner intake is on now what we could do to start off with is we could go ahead and just say closed right we can just just straight away just start off by closing our, our prison so we've got a bit of time to begin with just to, so we don't take anything at all um, we need to read the CEO's letter Congratulations on completing your basic introduction, which we have already done. You are now a fully qualified prison architect. So the bills are in better to have the for now. I'm the warden. Um, so we need to get a, a warden with a nice office. Jail cells are important. Building a large cell will be the best way of doing that. Kitchen and a canteen. And prisons are expensive. So there you go. Thank you for that. And we need to accept our first grant, which is on the report section. Um, if we have a look in grants. A basic detention centre is what we are required to build, and if we do that, we will get um, a £10,000 completion bonus and 20000 in advance, which is a nice, healthy amount of money. So, let's go ahead and accept that then. Um, what I want to do for the prison to start off with um, is... I'm going to go with brick rather than concrete, by the way, because this is a British prison. And British prisons are definitely made in brick. Um, I kind of feel like maybe we should go with... I like the idea of having like a, a, a five gap pretty much wherever we go, right? Because we have a choice. Well, actually, you know what? I kind of like the idea of having a two gap instead. Can we do something here a little bit different and make here? Yeah, can we make the garbage like a bit bigger? We could actually do that, apparently. Boom. Um, and then make deliveries a bit bigger as well so they are the same size. There we go. That's good. Do we want them to be like... Let's make them square. Let's just start off with having these, this interesting kind of square area. We're going to actually get rid of a little part of it. Just here. Like this. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the... the, the I'm going to try to build the majority of the prison based on... I think a two kind of spaced system bear with me here guys because it does make sense in my head and I'm going to show it to you guys as well so what my plan is um, is I'm going to have two kind of relatively large buildings um, one here I say relatively large I mean like they're going to start off being sort of smallish 10 by 10s um, and then one two three four so we've got a four a four gap and then we'll have one kind of larger building at the back here. 
Uh, again, we need to have a one, two, three, four gap. So one, two, three, four, and then it goes there. And then that needs to be um, how wide does it need to be? It needs to be a wall, obviously, and then one, two, three for one prison, one, two for the the corridor, and then one, two, three. Now, usually in games like Rimworld and stuff, I usually work on um, odd numbers, and the reason for that is because in in prison, in uh, Rimworld. You can only work with um, single spaced doors. So, for example, the rooms that I'm building just here are going to have these lovely single spaced doors. But with the this game, you actually have the ability in some places, especially with places with high traffic, heavy traffic, you would want to use uh, large doors. So we're going to have a large door just there. And that's how we're going to run it. So these guys have got tons of things to do now. So hopefully they'll just kind of get on the task at hand. Well, they have to wait for the delivery to come in, which is currently winging its way, but they are dismantling some of those trees. Actually using little axes as well. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so as you can see, we've built a basic jail cell area here, which we technically don't need to start off with. And actually, what I might do, for argument's sake, is actually turn this into shower, etc, etc. Maybe that's the way to do it. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to do that. And I'm going to have a yard out the back here. So what I need to do is I need to have... So we're kind of making plans as we go, which is interesting. I'm going to have two doors like that. So one room here, one room here. Doors going through here. We're going to have to... I'd like to dismantle this wall here if I could. But I don't think I have the ability to do that. I'm not sure. Um... If we go into here, aha, demolish walls. So we don't want this one to be here. So that's fine. And then, oh, there go the trees. They now have some wood that we can use apparently, which is quite nice. <laughs> um, we also want to make sure that we have obviously perimeter wall. Is it all you want to have? No, we want to just have fence, right? We want to have fence all the way around the outside. Um, if we have any sort of people that are trying to start escaping. But to start off with, we need to just sort of try to make this a bit easier. So, yeah, I guess we'll just have fence inside this part. Going out uh, 15. Is 15 okay? Well, if we're going to do it evens for, with the double door situation, then we'll, do, we'll just do it at 20. Because 20 is a good number. And then we then go and had and have another foundation, another brick foundation that goes in here. Same size building. And that's where the cell block is. Our first cell block is going to be in there. That's where the prisoners are going to, to start off living, I think. So a large jail door on this side, but not going through to the other side as well. So there you go. This is our, this is our basic kind of prison. Um, we're getting people to, to build as they go, and obviously these, these rooms are just finishing up and loading and doing all that fancy jazz. There we go. So, first rooms are in, which is nice. Lights are going in sort of automatically, which is fine. We don't want to worry about doing things too much. We have got quick build over here, which we can use for building our cells, uh, which is very useful, uh, as you can see. So, you can build them like this and then have them like sort of going in each time. Um, but, oh, so yeah, basic cells and solitary cells, etc, etc. The basic cell is the one that we want to build in each of these rooms. But as you can see, so we're going to have, like, that there. See, it's a, it's a little bit too... Yeah, we, we, can, we can make that smaller, actually, than that, I think. So we're not going to worry about that too much. Um, what we do need to do is build some brick walls in here to kind of, like, adjust these rooms a little bit. Um, but I like the idea of this being a holding cell, and I like the idea of this being offices. So let's go into rooms and take a look at what we need to do. So, for example, the holding cell needs to be 5x5, five five, surrounded by walls and doors, indoors with a toilet and a bench. So it's definitely 5x5, five five. it's definitely indoors, it definitely needs a toilet. Uh, we can give it... how many do you reckon we should give it? We should have the one to start off with, I guess. And then we put in a bench here and a bench here. Perfect. Look at that. Nice, basic little holding cell. We obviously need to have uh, a warden as well. He's here. He's required before we can research and, and get higher stuff. 
which is a little bit frustrating, but well, we can we can live with that. Um, the yard is going to be here. We go. This is going to be the yard. Boom. That is the yard. Oh, not that bit. There we go. They're still building. They're still doing their stuff. But that once that fence has been put in, then the yard is is absolutely fine. Uh, we need to carry on sort of designing how we're going to work with these areas. Now, I kind of like the idea of doing um, something like this, where it goes in slightly. I know it's not exactly the, the most efficient use of the land that we have, but I'm okay with that. And then large jail door there and there. So that is another kind of like area that we've managed to build. Um, now, one of those is going to be a canteen, or rather a kitchen, which actually can go in here if we wanted to. So you know what we might actually do with that? We might change that up a little bit, actually. Let's cancel this out. How, what's the, what's the size that the room needs to be for the canteen, do you think? Doesn't actually matter. And the kitchen doesn't actually matter. Okay. Well, that's fine then. So let's go ahead and say, right, we would like to have a fridge. That way around. Uh, what else did it, did it say it required? In fact, we can, we can actually have the requirements up on the thing if we put it in sort of here. There you go. Uh, indoors, fridge, sink. We, we definitely got the fridge part, right? Yeah, the fridge needs a cooker and needs a sink as well. So there's the cooker. Oh, there's the sink. Holy crap, that's massive. Very nice. Very nice. Um, so I guess we'll just have that there. And then put a bin in. I have no idea if that's going to be used or not if it's there. But should we just have that anyway? I guess we may as well. There we go. Uh, and then, what we want to do here is... Well, how are we going to make this work? So, the kitchen room can be a lot smaller than that. It can be like that big. We need to have it so that it has it is behind a wall. Um, we need to make sure that the staff are happy with how it is. So like we can have one cook going in there. We'll need... I mean... Let's have four guards to start off with. There we go. They're, they're putting all the things in for us. That's all nice and, and working well. So that's, that's all going well to start off with. Let's quickly go ahead and put in uh, a power station and a water pump station. Now, if this is going to be this big, one, two, three, four, and a wall, and that, and then space to go all the way around it. And then the water pump station, same kind of thing. I want to have them separated out, I think. Uh, one, two, we'll just have it, we'll just mimic what it's, what it's doing there. Oh, can we not have that? Why not? What is wrong with having a water pump station there? Oh, there's trees and stuff there, that's why. Okay. All right, fine. You win this round, game. Maybe we have the water pump station, like, next to it. Oh, shit. Not another one. There we go. Whew, that was going to cost us a lot of money. I think that might have actually cost us a lot of money. I don't know. But we've got the things that we need here. We'll just speed up the game. Let them quickly install that. The utilities will inevitably and eventually be in a room. But for now, I'm not. I'm trying not to worry too much about making all that super complicated. Um, but that's fine. So the kitchen's gone in. It needs power and water. So let's go ahead and quickly just do that. Get everything like powered up here. I'm not really sure exactly how that's going to. Well, I guess it'll just be like that. Will this need to go through here? Apparently, it can't. There we go. So the power is now going through to there, which is important. 
and then we'll need a small pipe going from well like here I guess yeah that looks like it's gonna make sense uh, and then plummet down this way hopefully that'll be fine I don't really know how the, the plumbing and stuff works immediately but I kind of feel like we're doing well we are we need to still need to build a shower um, which can be on this side. We need at least two cooks, the game says. So there's two cooks. We need to also build a serving table to get the food out. Um, which I'm going to have out here, I think. How do we want to have this room done? Are we okay with it being like this? I guess it kind of has to, doesn't it? So have like a jail door... Or like a normal door there. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Let's do that. So if we need to have, if we need to evacuate the building, have a door there. But then just a normal door will be there for the cooks and stuff to do their cookery things. And then that means that this part of the room is the canteen. Uh, yeah, the canteen. So that's a really efficient use of space there. I like that. I'm really happy. There we go. And how big is this? Can we have a large Dale door? Three either side. We can have a large Dale door. Fantastic. That That is just the best. Look at this. All the powers going in. Every, everything. They're just, they're just building it up. Oh, that's great. Let's have a look at utilities again. See, so yeah, the power's almost there. I've got like three more wires to connect. They're doing it backwards for fun. There we go. Power's in. So that's that machine now powered. And that machine now powered as well. And the plumbing has gone in as well, which means that actually oh, it hasn't, hasn't quite... actually needs to go directly underneath it. Which is fine. Uh, and that needs to go directly connected to it. So we'll have the pipe going that way to get to the cells as well. Because that's all fine. Yeah, no, this is good. Okay, so, power's now in, I think. No, nope, power's off. Switch on. Right, it breaks. What is that, what is about it that is making it break? Hmm. Is it because it hasn't got enough power? Maybe I need to build some capacitors already. How much do they cost? It costs like a grand. There we, well, let's just try one. See if that'll be enough. It definitely like goes over power too much really quickly. Okay, now let's try switching that on. Okay, we just had we just had a bit too much power stuff going on. Well, there we go. That that's that worked out. So that is that is all nice. I'm happy with that. Um, we want to make this all become dirt, right? Because this is the yard. And the yard currently doesn't have a little bit of dirt on that side. So we want to sort of change it up a little bit. The canteen still needs to have tables and benches. Which we can do very, very easily. Table here. But where can we... Oh, we might have to have it off to one side actually. Let's do that quickly then. Let's just dismantle the door. There we go. And instead, we're going to have the table like here. And a table like. Well, actually, that's, that's it, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god. That's frustrating. I wonder if we can. No, maybe we can have it there in there, actually. That might be the most efficient use of space. I don't know which way around that has to go. So we'll just do this. Which means that door was actually in exactly the right place. So the door goes back in. And then along comes all the bench and tables and stuff. Oh, it's great. It works. Lovely. It's going to be hard for them to squeeze into this space here. But I'm sure they'll be very, very happy with that problem. What the hell is wrong with the water? Yes, hello, water. What's wrong? 
What do you need? Do you need hot water as well? Is that what you're saying? I, mean, I can do that. We can, we can make that happen, but... Do I just put it in next to it, or what? I don't actually know. I have no idea what this unholy heap of mess is going to be, but let's just go with that. Some kind of really big, just absolutely stonking failure of a, of a water pumping system. God damn. That is the worst, but whatever. It's costing us a lot of money as well. But we'll just have to live with it. But definitely plumbing is working there. Come on. Plummet. Oh, is it because the part the, the the pressure isn't enough? It might be because the pressure's not enough. Oh damn. Okay, we can fix that. Um, let's have a look. So small pressure much lower, limited length that a small pump can run before the pressure becomes too low. So now what we need to do here is we need to uh, basically like upgrade these pipes to big pipes. Um, and that means that we need to take out those ones. And just try running it like that. So it's a big pipe up to that little bit there. Hello. Okay, now it's got now it's now it's fine. Now it's cooking with gas. Look at that. So we have hot water, cold water. Don't know if that's an issue or not, but it's been fixed. You've been watching the Kefcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.